there are hundreds of people sailing around the world and one thing that enables them to be able to do that with a certain amount of security and safety is the ability to be able to access medical care on the end of a telephone via satellite from anywhere in the world. We look after sailors uh, out at sea and the medical requirements of sailors out at sea. We really do that in three ways, building medical kits, teaching people how to use them and then supporting them when they're out at sea. Our job's a bit like being an insurance salesman in a way and that we're selling a service which hopefully people will never have to use. Being able to contact someone should there be an emergency is yeah, it's pretty important and it could save a life. We've got the capability of receiving either pictures or video clips or even basic physiological parameters from the patients. That lends so much value to the, to the advice that we're able to give back to the crew. In the last Volvo race, I was called when I was uh, sitting in theatre. A bowman on one of the boats had been washed down the deck and come into contact with the very sharp dagger boards. And he unfortunately hit his face and knocked out one of his front teeth. They sent me photographs in high definition. We were able to email back the advice to the boat. Within an hour and a half, the situation had been solved and the boat never slowed down all the way through that scenario. So that was really excellent uh, comprehensive medical support. This is the border of Islington and Hackney. It's one of the um, NO2 focus areas for London, which means it's a hot spot for air pollution. Some people are, are vulnerable to air pollution. We thought it was a good idea to try and inform most people in advance when air pollution is a problem. We developed a pollution forecasting service called the Airtex Consortium. Cambridge Environmental Research Consultants, they set up the service for us. They're the, uh, the clever scientists who did all the forecasting based on the EU and um, space satellite information. CERC is an air quality research consultancy and we've developed a series of um, air quality dispersion models. It's a comprehensive system for modelling air quality in urban areas. Satellites give us information about the amount of nitrogen dioxide in the atmosphere. They give us information about the amount of particulates in the atmosphere. And that's all very important um, for the global and regional scale models uh, upon which AirTex depends. This is very important public health information, preparing people in advance so they can take all precautions in a polluted city. I think there's lots of possible applications for space satellite with regard to health industries in the future.